Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today we're gonna learn how to butterfly click. Butterfly clicking is one of the fastest clicking methods you can do and it's really universal. You can use it for PvP and bridging. Honestly, it is probably one of the most important clicking methods you can learn today and it's not even that hard. This tutorial is gonna be really in-depth while also being really easy to understand. And also, I might hear you asking, uh, why did you make another butterfly clicking tutorial? And my answer to that is, why does it have 5k views it's not even good either way guys let's jump right into the video just before we get started, I want to tell you that the best way of supporting me and this channel is to subscribe. Subscribing increases my ego and gives me motivation, so please do that. Anyways, let's start from the basics. What is butterfly clicking? Butterfly clicking is a clicking method that lets you click above 10 CPS and up to 30 CPS even. There are some people like myself that have been able to butterfly click 24, 25, 26 and even 27 CPS. Some people are insane enough even even to go as far as hitting 30 CPS. This just really shows how powerful this clicking method is. And you might be a little bit confused. Why do people care about CPS that much? Well, basically, in Minecraft, there's a bit of code that makes it so each time you click on an opponent, your knockback gets reduced. So in essence, that code is saying that the faster you click, the less knockback you will take. Also, CPS can affect your hit registration, if you are clicking 20 times per second and you come into a range of an opponent who has 6 CPS, it's more likely that you will get the first hit. With all that said, let's consider what you need for butterfly clicking. The first thing you need is obviously a mouse. And not just any mouse, a double clicking mouse. But don't worry if you don't have a double clicking mouse, there is still hope. A lot of cheap mice that aren't specifically said to be gamer mice are actually really good double clicking mice. And if you just take all the mice in your house and plug them all into your computer and see if any of them double click, you will surely find one. Because they are so common, especially among cheap mice. If you want to know more about how to find the perfect perfect double clicking mouse for you and how to find out if a mouse double clicks, then check out my double clicking tutorial. It will provide all the information you need. Anyways, after you got yourself a double clicking mouse, now you have to work on your gripping style. And basically what that means is how you hold your mouse. For me personally, I hold my mouse with my thumb and my pinky finger, while butterfly clicking with my index and middle finger. And lastly, I use my ring finger for right click. Usually that involves block placements or blocking your sword. After we got that all out of the way, we can finally start learning butterfly clicking. Okay, so first of all, there are two methods to learning butterfly clicking. One is easier than the other, but the other one lets you understand the inner workings of butterfly clicking and why you can get so much CPS from it. Okay, so the first easier method is by placing your hand on the mouse and then starting to lightly alternate your fingers like you would in butterfly clicking. You should do it so lightly that your fingers don't even press the mouse button all the way down. You should get zero CPS by doing this. After that, you gotta try to add a little bit more pressure to your butterfly clicking. Try to click just a little bit harder and do it until you roughly get 10 CPS. After that, you have to add even more pressure until you eventually start getting 20 CPS. And this is kind of precise and you will not probably get it on your first try, but try to keep the pressure you're pressing the mouse buttons with the same. Now don't add too much pressure, because if you add too much pressure, you're just gonna get 10 CPS, which is not what you want. Try to use the perfect amount of pressure so that you get 20 CPS. It's not the harder you click, it's the more precise you click. Okay, so the second second method is not as straightforward as the first method, which is basically just add more pressure to your clicking until you get 20 CPS. The second method is to learn how to double click on each of your fingers separately. This will give you more control over your butterfly clicking and overall make you understand when you're getting a double click better. Okay, so the second method. Basically, you just have to take your finger and let it drop on your mouse trigger. This should generate a really brief click. Now try to practice doing it until 
until you got the feel for it. After you let your finger drop on the mouse, don't pick your finger up off the mouse and then just push your finger all the way down. This will make that two clicks will be registered. This is what a double click is actually supposed to look like. Again, if you want to know more about double clicking, you should check out my double clicking tutorial. Anyways, once you figure out how to double click on your index finger, then you should try to double click, which involves double clicking as fast as you can so you get 10 CPS. And note that I said as fast as you can, not as hard as you can. Because if you click too hard, you will not get a double click. After that, you should try to learn how to double click with your middle finger. If you can also get 10 CPS with your middle finger, now you can finally learn how to alternate your fingers. And alternating your fingers isn't as easy as you might think, and there's still some things that you need to keep in mind. Basically, your butterfly clicking should sound like this, and not like this. Basically, if your butterfly clicking sounds like a running horse, then you should practice on smoothly alternating your fingers. This will ensure the most consistent CPS and will also definitely increase your FPS. But anyways guys, that's all I had to say for today. There are two ways to learn butterfly clicking. Both have their strong suits and you have to have a certain mouse and a grip style. If you practice butterfly clicking for a really long time and you still cannot get it, then you can write a comment in the comment section and I might answer it. I read most of my comments and I really like reading them, so drop a comment down below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.